the original idea came from, at least for my graduation, was to use drones for a good purpose instead of how we see it always in the news in a very negative way. It's able to fly in a straight line to, to your location. Uh, so that means that unlike traditional ambulance services, they have to follow the road and they usually take like 10 minutes before they get to your location. But with this uh, drone, we can be on the location within one minute. I'm outside. Cop the drone. There are numerous features uh, on this drone. Um, one of them, the most important one, is of course the defibrillator. So if you pull on this, you the get out on your the two pads that you have to place on your chest that will actually provide the help. Now, to do that is, is sometimes very difficult for people. Um, and therefore, we have a camera on the front and a speaker system inside. Uh, and with that, a remote doctor can provide you guidance. I can see that the pads are properly applied. Joanna, please stay clear of the father. We'll take it from here. This prototype costs around 5,000 euros. The actual model would cost around 15,000. Uh, there is one obstacle to the progress of this ambulance drone though, and that is that it's illegal to fly these drones in the Netherlands. Many ambulance services all over the world are contacting me and, and hoping that the system will be, be there as soon as possible. For these type of applications where drones are used for a very good purpose, in fact to, to actually save lives, I think there we can uh, sort of change uh, the law uh, a bit and, and allow these uh, vehicles to fly. At over 100 kilometers is to make sure that this product gets to market as fast as possible.